So we're obviously using Envoy as part of this series to deploy our project and basically take our code from GitHub, place it onto our server. But why do we need to use Envoy to do this? We spoke earlier about Forge's ability to deploy code directly from our GitHub project if we link our account up, which is great. For most people, this is enough. However, Envoy offers zero downtime deployment. And I guess this concept probably needs some explaining. So zero downtime basically works by deploying everything required for your application to a different directory on the server. So it won't basically overwrite your files just yet. And then what it will do is once every step of the deployment stage is successful, uh, it sim links over the directory to the new project or the new deployed files. And this means that along the way that you're deploying, if something fails, so for example, if your project files are copied over, you then need to run, say, migrations. You might need to run Composer to install any new packages you've used. And if something goes wrong along that way, your site probably will break and you'll have to go through some kind of complex procedure to roll everything back. Now, it is common for things to go wrong after you add more to your project. And some of these things are out of control. So in the past, I've deployed and I've seen errors downloading dependencies, which would have bro basically broken my entire deployment process. And, um, and because on codecourse.com we use Envoy to deploy, it meant that when this did happen, everything just stayed as it was. Now we'll be looking a little bit later more in detail about how this works and which kind of folders that Envoy creates in your server. Uh, but basically just using Envoy, you can have pretty much zero downtime deployment. Now, not only this, it's really easy to control things like environmental variables that get loaded into Laravel for configuration. And we also have features on Envoy like heartbeats, which let you monitor parts of your application to make sure everything is working. And you have complete flexibility over how your application is deployed and the steps that you deploy in. So you can add on things as it grows. Now, of course, you're going to be paying extra for this service, but I really think it's worth it. And we're going to be looking at how we can set up Envoyer to deploy everything that we have in our GitHub project in the next part. And you'll just see how easy it is.